can i call upon dr anish pan health health and governance undp yes thank you thank you very much Yes, thank you. Uh, thank you, everyone um, from um, UNDP India country office. I welcome you all to this momentous uh, event. We are very proud and happy to be associated with the Nagaland state government in the event of the launch of the plan today. Uh, I would like to begin by uh, welcoming Honorable Chief Minister Shinifu Ryoji. Uh, very warm welcome, sir. We are very delighted and proud to have you um, uh, for this inauguration. Uh, Minister Health and Family Welfare, Shri Pangyu Form. Form, uh, very welcome, sir. We are very happy to have you. Uh, Member of Legislative Assembly, Shri Tong Yang Chang, uh, welcome you, sir. Principal Secretary to CM and Health and Family Welfare, Shri Amardeep S. Bhatia, uh, welcome you, sir. Principal Director, uh, Health and Family Welfare, Shri uh, Nikrile Kimao, um, Shri Kenesa Davuo, Mr. CA from the media. I would also like to welcome from the Twinsang District, the Deputy Commissioner, Shri Ramakant Kumarji. Welcome, sir. Uh, the Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Lanu Chuba, the Medical Superintendent of the Hospital, Dr. Thung Bemo. Uh, I'm also very uh, happy to welcome from the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare in Delhi, Dr. Sanjay Roy, a Director of Medical Education. Very proud and very honored to have Mr. Shingo Miyamoto, Minister, uh, Embassy of Japan. Very welcome, sir. And also very happy to have Ms. Nadia Rashid, Deputy Resident Representative, UNDP Country Office. Welcome, Nadia. Uh, I'm very uh, happy to to uh, launch uh, to see the launch of this event uh, from from uh, our team perspective. A lot of hard work has gone into it, and now we are going to see the fruits of this for the time to come. With this, I hand you back, and um, we can continue with the event. Very warm welcome to you, sir. We'll go for a group photo. I think it will be done from your side. Moving forward to the program, uh, we will go for the next address uh, by our uh, Minister of Health and Family Welfare, the Pangyu Phone. Uh, sir is uh, instrumental in handling both the COVID waves in the uh, state of Nagaland very successfully. I will give now time to sir. Also, the chairman of district task force, most respect to our honorable chief minister, my esteemed colleagues, Mr. Sungo, Riyamado, Minister, Embassy of Japan to India. My most respected personal secretary, Mr. Amate Patia, my principal director, Dr. Manish Ban, head health and governors, UNDB, Terimati Nadia, Resit, Timothy Residence, representative, UNDP, my beloved Chief Medical Officers, MS Officers, ladies and gentlemen. It's a pleasure to be part of the inaugural program of PSA Oxygen Generation Plan here at Pinsang on 22nd of June 2021. On this auspicious occasion, I convey my deepest appreciation to the United Nations Development Program, India, and the government of Java for extending their support to the government of Nagaland to ensure uninterrupted oxygen supply to the people of the state 
specialist and dance like this. So far, no oxygen generation plan has been set up and two districts have tested that is to exam and plan. Nagaland being a developing state is a need of it from various organizations to get on par with the rest of the country and beyond. We are immensely thankful to UNDP, which is working with the Minister of Health and Family Welfare, Government of India, and the state health department for increasing the capacity of oxygen supply and hospitals, specialists, and the remote areas of the identified districts of the state. We are also grateful to the government of Chaban and UNDB India for jointly supporting the government of India's response to the COVID-19 pandemic through strengthening of health and social protection system and revival livelihood to address the devastating impact on the lives of the most affected population of the country. We look forward to more continuous support and help in the near future. We also pray that we are ready to provide local support in any activities which will be beneficial and helpful to the people of the state. Thank you so much. We pass the floor. Okay. Yes, People of Japan, government of Japan through UNDP, uh, we are getting oxygen generator plant in Pilsang district, which is one of the remotest districts uh, in the country. Thank you. Thank you again. Now, uh, moving forward to the program, uh, we'll go for this address and overview of the UNDP COVID 19 response uh, by Ms. Nadia Rasid. Uh, she is the UNDP deputy resident representative in India. She has worked in various capacities with UNDP. On a range of health, gender, and development issues. She did her undergraduate degree from London School of Economics and master's from Columbia University in International Affairs. Ma'am, uh, please, uh, time is yours. You may take your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, and a very good morning to all. Chief Minister, Mr. Ryu, Honorable Minister from the Embassy of Japan, Mr. Miyamoto. Honorable Minister, Department of Health and Family Welfare, Mr. Huang, distinguished guests, dignitaries, and colleagues. I'm honored to be here with all of you today, although it's virtually um, honored to be here to launch and hand over the oxygen generation plants to the people of Nagaland. I'd like to first sincerely thank you, Honorable Chief Minister, for your leadership in responding to the COVID-19 pandemic in Nagaland. The efficient measures that are planned to steer the state through this difficult time are impressive and inspiring. UNDP is proud to be associated with the response of the government of Nagaland, and I assure you of our continued support. I would also like to thank the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare for their valuable guidance and support in setting up the oxygen generation plants. Uh, we are very pleased to be working closely with the ministry to strengthen the health sector response to COVID-19 as part of our overall support to the national response and recovery efforts led by the government of India. We are also extremely grateful to the government and to the people of Japan for their partnership and financial support in providing this vital helping hand to Nagaland at a time when it is needed the most. The COVID-19 pandemic has disrupted billions of lives worldwide. We are facing an unprecedented health and development crisis, unlike anything witnessed in our lifetimes. Yet at this difficult time, the world has come together. Across the world, citizens, the private sector, community groups are lending helping hands to help overcome this crisis. These partnerships and collaborations are critical to saving lives. And the oxygen generation plants being launched and inaugurated today are a testament to this reality. 
the plants installed in the civil hospitals of Twin Sang and Fek have a total oxygen production capacity of about 300 liters per minute, helping to support over 200 hospital beds. This will help to ensure an uninterrupted flow of oxygen for these communities and also help to strengthen the ability of hospitals to respond to future crises. Since the onset of the pandemic last year, UNDP has been working closely with national and state governments to strengthen health systems. In Nagaland, we were able to provide 100,000 triple layer face masks, 60,000 pairs of surgical gloves, and 50 thermal scanners. UNDP also trained 250 vaccine handlers and health workers in the usage of the EVEN digital platform. The platform helped to track 12 essential health commodities for the COVID response, enabling efficient management of necessary health supplies. For several years, the EVEN platform has helped to improve immunization coverage in Nag Nagaland by ensuring that vaccines for routine immunization are available on time and in the right quantities for children and pregnant, pregnant women. UNDP teams at the state level and at district levels have also been providing implementation and capacity building support for the rollout of the COWIN platform in the state. A team of 15 dedicated staff is working closely with the health department to support the government and the people of Nagaland in their fight against COVID-19. The systems that we are setting in place today will not only help to address the current crisis, but also strengthen preparation to mitigate the impact of future crises. Support to even Cohen and the oxygen generation plants will help to ensure that the people of Nagaland have access to better healthcare for years to come. Before concluding, I would also like to take this moment to add my thanks to the chief medical officer of Twin Sang together with his team and the district administration for the generous support that they provided to the driver who was transporting the engineers from Delhi for these plants. Um, the driver had tested positive for COVID-19 and the timely medical assistance that he received has helped him to make a quick and full recovery. Let me once again thank the Chief Minister, the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare and the Embassy of Japan for this important collaboration. UNDP looks forward to continuing to partner together to help mitigate the impacts of the COVID crisis and to help ensure a better future for all. Thank you so much. And I will now request my colleagues to play a short video on the oxygen generation plants. that uh, this infrastructure will not support us today only it will be going to support us in near future also we are humbled and for 
fortunate to be associated with UNDP. Thank you once again. Now we'll go ahead with uh, our special address by Tingo Miyamatu, Minister Embassy of Japan to India. Sir, we are honored to have you here during this launch program. Uh, uh, Mr. Singo is presently working as a Minister Head of Economic Section, Embassy of Japan in India. He has joined the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Government of Japan in April 1994. Since then, he has worked in different capacities in various countries. He has done Master of Science in Biological Sciences from Tsukuba University, Japan, and Master of Arts in International Relations from Stanford University. Sir, you please, you may take your time. Thank you. Thank you very much for the kind introduction. Thank you. Can everyone hear me? Shine uh, Piu Ryo, Honorable Chief Minister of the State of Nagaland, uh, Ms. Nadia Rashid, uh, Deputy Re uh, Resident Representative of UNDP India, uh, distinguished guests and participants. Today, I am delighted to witness the handover of this oxygen generating plant. This oxygen generating plant is a part of the eight plants to be provided in the northeast region of India. I would like to thank those who, are in, who were involved in this project for their efforts that made today's handover possible. Especially, my thanks go to the Nagaland government led by the Honorable Chief Minister and the team at UNDP India office who worked hard to make this day a reality. Japan attached attaches special importance to the northeast of India, as it is where Japan's free and open Indo-Pacific and India's Arab-East policy converge. But aside from these strategic benefits for both our countries, we, the Japanese, feel a special closeness towards the northeast, particularly towards, the, towards Nagaland, because of our shared history and culture. This is the reason why we are always happy to extend development assistance to the Northeast, such as the one we are handing over today. The devastating effect of the second wave of the COVID-19 pandemic in India is still fresh in, our, in the minds of all of us. I do not even want to think about it right now, but the fact is that we must also prepare for a possible third wave. In this context, the oxygen generating plants that are now being handed over to various states in the Northeast is a very important step forward. They will significantly strength, strengthen India's ability in the fight against COVID-19 in the immediate future. The Northeast will be better prepared in case third wave strikes as these oxygen generating plants will now be operational. I would also like to add that these oxygen generating plants will not serve uh, the Northeast in the immediate future only, but hopefully they will be, they will serve well and help as many people as possible for a long time to come in the future. Thank you very much and congratulations to all those who were involved in this important project. Thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to speak. Namaste. For showing concern towards the northeast of India, uh, we are sure that uh, with the support of the uh, government of Japan, the infrastructure will be developed in the north northeast India. In Thank you once again, sir. Now we will move forward to the next part of the program. In order later, I see Nephew Rio on the table. Our Honorable Chief Minister is a pillar of support uh, for all the activities going across the state. And he is, uh, he is leading from the front and he has tackled both the COVID in his under his leadership quite well. And in coming days, we are sure that any such events or any such uh, pandemic will be taken up or controlled properly so under such guidance and leadership. So I will give now time to you. Thank you. Good person. 
Thank you, Mark. Deputy Commissioner Kim Sun. And uh, Honorable Sri Tingo Yamoto, Minister Embassy of Japan to India. My ministers, colleague from Nagaland, and Honorable MLAs, local MLAs, Mr. Chupachan and Ms. Toyan, and respected representatives of the UNDP, Dr. Manish Pant, head health and governance, UNDP, and also uh, base in India, Rashid, deputy assistant representative of UNDP, my respected principal director and principal secretary, CMO, medical officers of the district, officers of Kinsan district, and friends who are having participating in the virtual launching of oxygen generation plan in Kinsan district. Well, it's a program, launching of oxygen generation plant in Kinsan. And on behalf of the state, I would like to extend our appreciation to the Japanese government and partnering with UNDP for supporting uh, Nagaland, particularly this PSA, the oxygen generation plant. We have a uh, few others, international community helping us. And we are grateful to all of them, the UNICEF, the WHO, and CDC, and also Estonia, who had also promised to come and support us. We need your support very badly in this time of COVID-19 pandemic. Our state is a small state in the northeastern state. And we lack in infrastructures and medical facilities. This morning I traveled from Timapur, the commercial city. It took us about 45 minutes to reach this Tensan district headquarters. Monsum is active and cloud was everywhere. So we reached a little late and kept you waiting, which I'm sorry about it. But uh, reaching the grace of God, we're really honored to have this virtual uh, meeting in launching this oxygen generator. Plan. We remain indebted to you, Japanese government, and the community for remembering us and extending help. Japan is known to the Nagas. Your participation in World War, you have reached our land. I'm aware you had to suffer a lot and face even defeat. But Japanese have so many similarities, our look, our food habits, and our cultures. We have won the heart of the Nagas. And we discuss and we still remember 
the Japanese. And some people, they even learn some languages and also sing their songs. So it is nice to be uh, partnering with Nagaland from Japan and Minister Embassy of Japan to India is extending support and helping this virtual meeting. Nagaland has 12 districts and only in Dimapur, Kohima and Mokchul. We have some private hospitals. Otherwise, in all the other district headquarters, we have only one district hospital which catered the needs of the district. And I know I'm aware it is not sufficient. And this oxygen generator plant is very, very important. It will save a lot of lives. And this advanced medical science regime, the remote districts of Nagaland. This will be always remembered. And we are grateful. We have funded Fort Pinsan District and Tech District, which tomorrow or the after I'll also be going to Tech District for launching the oxygen generator plant. So I will always remember, uh, remember and Nagas will be grateful to all of you. Here, Small state, about only 20 lakhs population. Our death rate is within 10 in the whole country of the state. So that uh, is a little scary, maybe because of lack of medical facilities or lack of infrastructures. But getting help from all of you will definitely save lives. And so we're extremely happy. Even in vaccine, we learned that we are the, uh, one of the lowest vaccine state because people, even coming forward to take vaccine, many people are refusing to take vaccine, they are afraid to take vaccine. Say we are all right, we don't want to take a vaccine because we learned that vaccine is not good. A lot of propagandas and maybe some wrong prophecies also, but uh, <coughs> hope things will improve. I think uh, so far we had only vaccinated about a uh, little over. Collapse. So that is uh, very low. In the whole country, yesterday alone in India, I believe they made uh, 85 lakhs vaccines, which was launch. So I hope my state also will get up. And in this, we're grateful to the health workers, doctors, nurses and other supporting staff that sacrificing, they're working 24-7, and the frontline workers, the police, the administration, and NGOs, particularly the tribal hosts and the church organizations, the youth volunteering, supporting the government, administration and medical department. Today, partnering with world community, I'm sure Nagaland will, uh, uh, also will have more, more dedication. And this oxygen generator plant installed, I hope our health workers will make good use, maintain, and not only for today, but in the days to come. So that is my wish and my appeal to all the health workers to make good use 
and save lives. And once again, I extend my appreciation and my thanks. And hopefully in good time, when situation is okay, we'll meet in person and extend our greetings to you. Thank you. God bless. Stay safe. Many infrastructural uh, bottlenecks under your leadership, under your chairmanship, so state is progressing quite well and handling this COVID wave successfully. Thanks for bringing all kinds of support uh, to the state and uh, special attention to Sansang district. Uh, of Sansang are quite fortunate enough to have your project today also in all the occasions and your kind support to the Sansang. And we will look forward to many more uh, support from uh, and partnership from UNDP and government uh, of Japan in coming days. Now we will move ahead uh, for the next uh, program uh, that, that is launch of oxygen generator plant. Joint launch by Honorable Chief Minister Nagaland and Embassy of Japan, India and UNDP. Uh, I, on behalf of the Department of Health and Family Welfare, uh, I would like to thank our Honorable Chief Minister, Shri Nifurio. Um, despite the pandemic disrupting normal life, and in a greatest, much needed oxygen generator land in this frontier district of Tinsan. Now people of Tinsan doesn't have to go to outside to refill their oxygen cylinders. We have our own oxygen generator plant. Thank you so much, sir. <laughs> Words are not enough to express our gratitude to UNP and from the people of Japan combined for providing us with this oxygen generator plant <clears throat> to guide over this crisis of COVID-19, second wave pandemic, and beyond. A special thanks goes to one of the, um, our great leader, our Honorable Medical Minister, Sri Pangyo Kong, our Principal Secretary, our Principal Director, and Dr. Manish Pant, Head Health and Governance, and Ms. Nadia Rashid, <coughs> the resident representative UNDP for making this dream project a reality. <clears throat> and I'd like to thank all the company um, representatives, ministers, advisors, <clears throat> and Mr. Shingo Miyamoto, Minister Embassy of Japan to India. Sir, Nagas and the people of Nagaland will never forget your contribution to the people of Nagas. Thank you, everyone. <clears throat> Thanks a lot. Maintain COVID appropriate behavior. Stay safety. Stay healthy. Thank you. Okay, Madam Shiva. Uh, with this, uh, we are coming to the end of this program. I would like to thank all of our guests to who have joined here virtually. Uh, thanks, of, thanks a lot uh, for your patient. Uh, despite uh, the program being delayed, people are here uh, to support us. Thanks a lot, and we look forward again to meet you in person. Thanks a lot. Thank you. <laughs>